Howdy guys. So I have uh, two ECUs that come in for charging issues. This one supposedly uh, didn't charge at all. And the other one I have that we're going to be looking at in just a second is supposed to be overcharging. Um, so I already worked on this one last night and tested it. And I know that it's good. It's actually working perfectly. And I'm just going to demonstrate real quick what it looks like while it's working. Uh, so a little bit of the setup here. I have... Um, in the top left corner, I have my uh, DMM, and that's checking the voltage just to the input going into the ECU. Very simple. Uh, below that is the power supply. So uh, the 15.5, that's the volts I have going in. And you see the current consumption there. It's not really important for this. but um, So to manipulate the ECU into thinking that the battery needs charging and not, you know, I'll be adjusting the power supply. Uh, I'll adjust it down to 13 and a half volts, which will make it come on, and then I can go back up to 15 and a half volts, and it will make it uh, cut back off. And on the scan tool here, we can see I have also the battery temperature gauge set up, so I can adjust that with a pot here. And then I just have the oscilloscope on the output uh, of the ECU that will show the you know the duty cycle control for the alternator for the most part they go 100 percent high and 100 percent low but in between when it's kind of close to the target charging voltage which you can see on the scanner there it will uh you know have a little bit of a duty cycle cutting it on and off to kind of control the regulation but anyway let me go ahead and show you what it looks like uh, and i also have this test light here that's when it's charging is when that lamp is on so if we come over here and we turn this down to, let's say, 14 and a half, that's going to get us right below our target charging. And there we can see the duty cycle come on. And now if I go too low, we start charging 100%. All right, so now I can go back up to 15, and you can see it cut back off. So I'm, I'm going to go here to 14 and a half, and I'm also going to adjust the battery temperature and we should be able to cut it on and off with this too by changing the target charging voltage value because if I make the battery seem like it's getting super hot they don't want to overcharge and it cuts off like it's supposed to now let's say the battery is not overheating and there our target charging voltage goes back up alright so this one is working perfectly just like uh, I had tested last night and we can see what a good working unit looks like so I'm going to turn this back up to 15 I'm going to turn my ignition off over here and now we're going to disconnect this one and hook up the other one all right so I've got the next unit set up already um, I also have the ignition on and it's not currently charging so I don't think it's going to be overcharging because if it was bad and overcharging it should be charging right now but let's go through the same process so again I have all the same stuff I have our DMM up there um, just measuring the input voltage I have our power supply that I'll be adjusting we have the scan tool with uh, the battery temperature sensor hooked up and where we can see the what the computer thinks the voltage coming in is all right so let's go ahead and adjust down and see if our charging starts working all right so far not let me make sure my my things are right okay this should be seven so yeah that is right okay so so far we don't have any charging coming on but let's check our DTCs because these particular units will not charge if they have a DTC for it sometimes so I'm not seeing it so maybe this one is actually bad that'd be nice I get a lot of these ECUs in for charging but not many of them are actually bad once in a while once in a while we'll get a bad one but 
this one shouldn't be overcharging. This one should be undercharging if it doesn't come on. Oh, you know what? I forgot to connect the um, crank sensor. That That's why it's not coming on. Where's the wire for that? All right, so I got excited for nothing there. I had just forgotten to connect my uh, crank sensor. So let's go back into our live data. We'll set it back up, and then we'll go through it again. All right, here we go. going to go down. Yep, so no problem there. Let's go back up. And let's see if it cuts off. So yeah, it's not, not overcharging here. But let's go to 1450 there for the input. And now let's adjust this to see if something's going wrong with the battery temperature. No, it cut off. And we turn it back up. Let's turn it on full blast. Yep, there it goes. Turn it all the way off. Battery getting too hot. Got my pot messed up there. So yeah, I uh, I don't see it overcharging. So this one's working too, just as it's supposed to. So there we go. Two come in yesterday for one for no charging, the other for overcharging. Both okay. I suspect they probably uh, have wiring issues with the battery. I think that's really common on these you know the wiring between batteries or the grounding for the battery and also just one of the batteries itself being completely bad will cause <clears throat> the same kind of fault and uh, maybe something to do with the battery temperature sensor I, I don't know I've never heard anybody report that bad you know back to me because I, I, I don't work on the truck so I only know what people tell me and uh, almost always it's the wiring between the batteries or a bad battery. But uh, anyway, that's that's a bummer. I was hoping to crack that one open and show you guys the repair for one not charging, but I guess next time.